Hi there, and welcome back to Jay's Toy Collection UK for another, you guessed it, action figure breaking news video. It's Spider-Man, it's Mezco. I'm going to have to talk about it. But before we get to that, please do hit that like button. Leave your thoughts on this octopus-like action figure in the comments below. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Of course, tickle that notification bell to find out when the next toy video goes up. So it is literally 6 p.m. here in the UK. Therefore, it's 1 p.m. on the East Coast. So Mezco have dropped the Doc Ock pre-order. So let's jump straight over to the Mezco type. And let's take a look because I, oh yes, I am excited for this one. You know I love Spider-Man. He's right behind me. A classic bit of Spidey. And you cannot beat a classic sort of Steve Ditko style Spider-Man villain. And here we have Dr. Otto Octavius himself. Dr. Octopus from Mezco. So let's take a look then. $112 for the pre-order. Uh, when is it estimated to ship? Oh, November this year. That's a bit That's a bit presumptuous of our friends at Mezco. We know they're quite the slow shippers to January 2025. So take that with a very, very big grain of salt because I think it'll be a lot longer than that. But $112 then. So about the average sort of Mezco price these days. So let's see what sort of accessories we are going to get for that. So we will go through all the images and see what happens. So of course... Doesn't say Mesco exclusive, so this should be up on Big Bad Toy Store and other retailers. So hopefully UK stock will be coming on this and we haven't got to import from the US. So there he is then, classic Doc Ock. So they've just done the classic Ditko Spider-Man. Got that one in the collection. And of course, the classic Green Goblin. So maybe, I don't know, what are your thoughts in the comments? Doc Ock, Green Goblin, who is the most iconic Spider-Man villain? It's pretty close, I would say, between the two. For me, it's still the lizard. So I did put in the style, or hopefully more classic to come. But the love of God, let's go. Please, please make me a lizard. A classic Kurt Connors. It's going to go really good with uh, with these figures. Let's hope we go there. So I don't care. Doc Ock, Photoshopped as ever from Mezco. So features, right, removable, highly poseable tentacles. So straight away, we have confirmation. We do have bendy wire, because I think we'd win absolute uproar if we did not have Bendy Wire. So Bendy Wire confirmed for Doc Ock. Let's take a look. So there he is, classic exposed spiting Fidey. First thing I've noticed, a little bit skinny, a little bit skinny. Hasn't quite got the belly yet, but I suppose classic Doc Ock wasn't quite as rotund as he was drawn a bit later. So we'll let him get away with that. Bit of a more thin Doc Ock. So he's been on a bit of a diet, but the suit looks nice. I do like, I think Doc Ock's character suits the Mezco style. Because the soft goods, I think, come across. Oh, it's, just, it's like he's wearing, it's almost like it's the classic Mezco syndrome, like he's wearing pajamas. But that's kind of what Doc Ock looked like. So the nice yellow belt, the sculpted belt there, sculpted boots, sculpted gloves, a bit of plastic breaks up the soft goods. So I think that looks well. And I do like these head sculpts. I'm sure there's going to be more than one as we go through all the images there. So he's posed up fighting against Spider Man. Includes interchangeable tentacle claws then. So we're going to get a different variety of claws. The classic claws have been drawn slightly differently as time goes on from the minuscule ones to the bigger ones. So we'll have a look at the end because they always leave their uh, actual like solicitation photos to the end. So we're going to get some interchangeable tentacles. And we do get a lab coat then. So oh, they had to include a lab coat. Mezco, soft goods. Yes. So as you see, I've just started collecting Lego. I've got the Daily Bugle. That came with a modern Doc Ock. So I've managed to find this exact Doc Ock in Lego form with the white lab coat. So brilliant. I've got even more sorts of scales coming because this will be 100% a pre-order for me. So it includes removable lab coats. I'm assuming there's some slits in the back to actually fit the tentacles through them. And definitely a nice looking bit of bendy wire. You can get all sorts of poses then out of that bendy wire. I wonder if we get any lab equipment. Hopefully we get some lab equipment with the figure. So then we've got another head sculpt, another head, all those smiling. That's a bit more like the uh, that meme, isn't it? Was it We and the Boys, Me and the Boys? I can't quite remember what it was called, but there was definitely a, a meme going around. Somebody in the comments let me know what it was called, but that's definitely the meme head sculpt. So I kind of like that, that cheeky grin on old Otto there. He's getting up to a bit of 1960s mischief. A mischief maker is old Doc Ock. Here we go then. So and there we go, right? Slits confirmed. Slits confirmed in the video. So we do have some nice holes in the back of the lab coat to uh, get your tentacles through. And the classic bowl haircut. So check out the uh, check out the bowl on the back of that dome then. So uh, 
classic Doc Ock haircut. I wonder who did his. So maybe could uh, I could grow me a Doc Ock. Maybe I could do a Doc Ock cosplay one day. Somebody build me some tentacles. So again, they're setting up in a almost a Photoshop that in a real life lab by the looks of it. So we could do with some actual proper lab accessories from Mezco. So again, we got Doc Ock reaching up its Spidey. So I'm assuming we're going to get a bunch of interchangeable hands and everything there. Interchangeable tentacle arm and length. Oh, an interchangeable with a length, ladies and gentlemen. So you're not going to get one set of tentacles. You're going to get multiple then. Interchangeable length. You can erect Doc Ock's tentacles. What more do you want on a, on a Thursday afternoon here? Look at those. Okay. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I was looking at the date there. It's not Thursday, it's a Wednesday. I don't even know the date. My goodness, what an idiot. And on that, I've dropped the picture. But there you go. Always do that on Mesco's website. You touch a button and it vanishes off. So interchangeable. I just got far too excited about interchangeable length. So, Ock looking up there. Now a more stern head sculpt then. A more stern head sculpt in that one there. And then, okay, there's that meme face. 100% that's the meme face. You can put it up with your green goblin as well. Who else was in that meme? Was it? It's Electro, wasn't it? Ooh, classic Electro. That would be a that would be another nice one. And then Doc Ock trying to unmask Spidey. So you do have the unmask Spidey uh, variation from Mezco. So you can potentially do that with the figure. And he's looking up at Spidey again. So let's try and go to the end. And I think because these pictures are all pretty similar. So you can see it looks like the tentacles can hold the figure. I'm assuming again that's probably clearly Photoshop. So you have to get your balance on poses there. So hopefully mini plastic multiverse. And get some uh, balances. So, Tom, if you're watching this one, that's your challenge. Can you balance the figure? I'm talking to figure balance. Can it stand on the tentacles? They haven't shown that yet. And we now we do go to the end. So, I wonder, can he stand on the tentacles? I do not know. You'd hope he could. But, of course, Marvel Legends showed that in their solicitation of their Doc Ock figure. So they haven't shown it. So I'm unsure where he can actually stand. But there you go. Then so you've got three interchangeable heads. You've got the meme smiley face, the gritting teeth, and then the more stern expression. Six interchangeable hands. You've got the pointy, you've got the grippy, you've got the slappy. So that's fine. No problem there. Doc Ock base. Not the most exciting of base. The classic Doc Ock colors of the orangey yellow and the green. Oh, oh my goodness. Right. Okay. Here's your interchangeable length then and your interchangeable tentacles. So you've got what? Uh, medium, yeah, short, medium, and large. So three different sizes. That's, that's one thing I didn't think we'd get with this. I think in a lab coat, maybe lab accessories, but we're getting an absolute bunch of interchangeable tentacles. So hopefully they, they plug in nicely. We've got some splayed out claws. We've got some more grippy ones, some shorter ones, some wider ones. You've got, well, you can do any version of classic Doc Ock you want really there, can't you, with, the, with that selection. You can do the big ones for, I suppose, the big ones for making him stand, we hope. Definitely for wrapping around Spider-Man, you can use those long ones. You've got the little short ones if you're out of shelf space. Or if you like gold locks and the free bears, take the medium one. And then removable lab coat. And that is the last picture. That is the last picture. So no lab accessories. So that that's a bit of a disappointment for me. I was hoping to get some beakers, some sort of lab bottles. A bit, a bit of lab equipment would have been nice with Doc Ock. But they have given us... Way more tentacles than I, than I thought in terms of the plastic count on this one. So includes removable lab coat. I do like the lab coat look. I would definitely be displaying mine with the lab coat on. So that is it. Doc Ock is up. What do you think of the price point? Yeah, it could be a little bit. $99 would have been nicer. Hopefully the UK stock does come and the conversion is about £90, hopefully. Or a bit of a Spider-Man tax there over the hundred, So it could have been a little bit cheaper from Mezco. But it is classic Doc Ock. Overall, I do like the look of the figure. And I will be 100% purchasing this one for the collection. So let me know in the comments. Are you picking up Doc Ock? Or are you passing? And which other Spider-Man classic villain would you like? For me, it's got to be Lizard. I would love to see Kirk Connors in Mezco form. Because they're building out quite the classic looking Mezco team. But ladies and gentlemen... I will leave it there. So I've been Jay. This has been Jay's Toy Collection UK with more action figure breaking news. About the third one of the week, I think. So till next time, I'll see you on the next video.